Hello everyone, welcome to Laterfront. My name is William Juma. In this video, I would like us to talk about filament render hooks. And filament render hooks allows us to render blade content at any place in our filament admin panel. These hooks helps to avoid publishing views which may encounter challenges when the panel is updated in the future. In this video tutorial, we will create a simple footer for our admin panel. So we are going to have several steps. I would like us to go to our service provider. So you go to app providers, app service provider. And inside here is in the boot method is where I would like us to put the code that you be enabling us to render a view inside a filament. So what we are going to have, we are going to have filament view register render hook we will call the panel render hook and the panel render hook that i would like to call is called footer it's supposed to be in capital footer like that so you have a comma and then we will return a view so you have function view then we will have view as let me call it footer then of course we need to import filament view we need to import pal panels render hook and we also need to import illuminate view view so above in our service provider that is what we have we have the panels render hook illuminate view view and then illuminate support facade filament view and by the way if you have very many render hooks you can create your own service provider that you'll be able to handle that. It's not a must for you to use the app service provider. So once we have that, I'm going to save, and then we will go to our resources views and create the view that we have mentioned. So you go to views, inside views, I would like to create a blade file, and we are going to call it footer.blade.php. And inside here, we can be able to have our footer. I would like to give it a class, background gray, 800. That's not bad. Text um, gray, 400. I would like the text to be centered. And I would like it to have a padding, a vertical padding. So padding... Uh, y over 4 and a border border gray 400 like that and inside here we can uh, just pass in whatever it is that we would like to, to to pass in so for example we can say at that is end copy then pass in the date so we can say now yeah and then um maybe the company Larafant all rights reserved something of that sort i believe that can be something that can look like a nice footer now would like us to refresh and see if we can be able to have our footer displayed and now we have our footer here I have made a small mistake. I am supposed to have these in uh, curly braces such that the ear will be uh, shown as an ear, not as uh, the gibberish that I've typed in. And so now you can see it's re displaying nicely 2024 Larafant All Rights re Reserved. And this footer will be visible anywhere within our application. So if we go to Users, you can see even when we are in the users um, resource or the list page for users, we still have our footer displayed. Sometimes you may want to scope the whatever it is that you have passed. In this case, the filament render hook. So, for example, if you are having you are rendering something that you do not want to be displayed in on every page, then you can be able to pass in. As something else within your hook in a app service provider so here you can um, maybe have options i mean scopes and uh, you can pass in your scope so for example i can pass in app 
um, filament resources user resource and when I do that our footer will only be displayed in the user resource and it will not be displayed elsewhere so if I click on dashboard now you can see our footer is not being displayed but when I click on users anywhere within the user resource now you can see the footer being displayed but of course this uh, footer we do not need to to scope it because it's actually good if it is visible everywhere. There are other render hooks that you can be able to tap in and uh, talk about. I have gone to filament PHP documentation for version 3 and I've clicked on uh, core concepts and among the core concepts that are there are uh, render hooks. So this is uh, the overview. And that is how you can be able to have, you can say body start. Remember the one that we have is footer. And there are available very many render hooks. So this one is auth login form after. So in the login form below the filament uh, inputs, you can be able to add something there. For example, uh, social auth, that is login using Google, uh, Facebook, uh, Socialite. And then also in every other of the forms that we have there, and you can also have the global search. You can also have these render hooks on our, on our pages and on tables and so on and so forth. So you can try and play around and see how you can be able to make these of use in your filament application thank you very much for following this video tutorial up until this point if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing and if there is something that has not been clear in my explanation please you can shoot in the comment section also if you have compliments or any other information that you would want us to talk about you can shoot in the comment section below thank you very much